I think that the best horror films, you know, they they're they tell a great human drama and they, they do something that, that gets under your skin and sort of lingers with you long after the credits. You find yourself thinking about it over and over again days later. How does it make you feel? Hi, Parker. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you so much for having me and congratulations on the movie. It's your first uh, feature debut, right? Indeed. Yes, congratulations. It's awesome. It's thank you. very scary. <laughs> I was a little bit traumatized, probably for the rest of my life, but okay. I love hearing that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so my first question is, what fans from Brazil can expect from Smile? Um, I, I hope they can expect to be, you know, really freaked out. Uh, there's a lot of surprises in store for them. It's this kind of nightmarish roller coaster of a ride. Um, but there's uh, some other stuff working under, under the surface that uh, will hopefully get them to sort of rethink how they look at things. And uh, the movie is based on your shark movie, Laura Hasn't Slept, which I unfortunately didn't see because it was uh, broadcast outside of Brazil <laughs> and uh, the story is the story the same and how did you create uh, the story for the picture for smile um, yeah so uh, Laura hasn't slept is a short that I made a few years ago and um, you know I made it to just be a short and be self-contained but while I was in post-production finishing that film uh, something about the idea kept kept nagging at me and uh, this this sort of concept for this larger story emerged um, that, that had a, this, this kind of wholly new character story and a bunch of new thematic stuff going on in it. But I, I like to think of them more as spiritual siblings rather than like a direct adaptation. Um, there's pieces of DNA from the short that are threaded through into the feature. And of course, um, there's, you know, uh, Caitlin Stacy plays a role in the short and she also plays a role in the feature. So she crosses over as well. But um, yeah, I think that they, they inform each other, but they're also their own separate things. And no, say no spoilers because we, uh, people in Brazil haven't seen it yet. Uh, but considering the, the finale of the movie, which we both know what happens, <laughs> can we expect uh, some sort of sequel, maybe focusing on the other character, which we both know? <laughs> um, we'll have to see. You know, I, I'm we we're just getting to the finish line on this one, and I'm 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 so excited for audiences audiences to see it and and kind of hear what their reactions are. You know, I think. Um, there could be really interesting things left to, to do with Smile, but I'd want to make sure that it's, uh, you know, not just a retread of the first. I'd want to make sure that it's, it's surprising and different than what people might be expecting. Which I hope it is, because the, the first one, it, the first one, <laughs> the Smile is uh, fantastic. I oh, mean, it's you. very original. And it reminds me of Lights Out and in some sort of way, because it's something we're dealing with in ourselves. And uh, in your opinion, what is the recipe for a good horror movie? You know, I think that the, uh, you know, I love big scares and, and frightening moments and things that make me jump out of my seat or, or sort of, you know, cringe or squirm. Uh, but I think that the best horror films, you know, they, they're, they tell a great human drama and they, they do something that, that gets under your skin and sort of lingers with you long after the credits. You find yourself thinking about it over and over again days later. Great. I agree completely. And I think we have time for one more. Uh, what are your favorite horror movies? Ooh, let's see. Uh, certainly, um, I mean, Stanley Kubrick's The Shining is one of my favorite films of all time. I love everything about that movie, uh, from the sets to the performances to the tone. Um, you know, I love uh, the 1981 film Possession uh, is like an all-time favorite of mine. Um, Ridley Scott's Alien, uh, Wes Craven's Nightmare on Elm Street, you know, John Carpenter's The Thing. Uh, yeah, I could go on and on. It depends on what day of the week you're yeah. asking me. <laughs> 
Okay, so uh, thank you very much. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have. Uh, congratulations again on the movie. I'm taking my husband to see it because he loves scary movies. Okay. And congratulations again. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That was great.